Hi, I'm going to show you one of the coolest servers that exist. But I want you to know, to start off, when you log in, you have to make sure you log into the server itself. As you can see, I'm trying to move. It's not working. Jump won't work. The only thing you'll be able to do is type, and even then, only you will see. It won't go through to other people. So, what you'll need to do when you very first join the server is type in set password. Oops, sorry. That is one word. Set password. And then whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to do Minecraft right now. Excellent. My password has been encrypted and saved. And then you simply use login in the Minecraft, or Minecraft, the password you chose. Um, obviously, I advise you don't use Minecraft as your password since I'm doing it right here. Find something else. And you're all set. If this is an area that you will be, um, no one else will be going on your computer, then you can use safe IP and then enter your password. And from now on, when I log in from here, I will no longer require a password. Now, this is just a little test account I made, so I'm going to close out of this and open up my other one. My real account I'm using. And this is my real one. This is me on the admin. I'm Talgi. Nice to meet you when you spawn here. And you'll see it's daytime. Time also doesn't change. Um, but when you spawn and start, there will be several guards. They are NPCs. They will not hurt you unless you attack them first. You'll see some patrolling later on probably too. Um, when you turn around, this is going to be the spawn. There you are able to get items spawned on you for the server. Uh, if you click these websites, it will give you a link which you can hit enter. Click on it and then go to. However, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm simply going to go down here. This will be the main room of the spawn. Uh, one of our people on here, Peanut, she designed it very well. You will have tutorial rooms on either side of you. I highly suggest you take a look at them so you know what you're doing. And the guards will talk to you too, by the way. Um, you will also have, whoops, you also have a nice nether teleporter. Uh, if you do get in trouble, there is a jail. I'll let you look at that yourself. And then if you're outside exploring, and for any reason you can't find safety in time, you can come down here and you are free to use any one of these beds. Um, always remember that if for any reason you get lost or anything, you can use this command, slash spawn, and whoops, you'll appear right back at the spawn. That's one of our people here. So, Assuming that you choose to walk opposite of where the nether teleporter is and you walk out front, you have this entire world here. Um, you won't be able to modify anything, you won't be able to damage anything. Like I said, there'll be some guards to protect you. You are free to wander anywhere you want and do anything you want. We have a townie system, which you can read about in one of those rooms there. And we'll explain how townie system works, but essentially it protects your land for you so that we don't have to worry about griefers. Uh, right now we're in the spawn protection zone. Let me show you. When you get out of it, it sends you a little message. Let me get that message for you so you know what I'm talking about. There you go. Once you're out here, then you're able to destroy, modify terrain however you want, unless it is protected by someone else. Um, now you've probably been seeing this giant thing in your face, wondering what the heck is that and why isn't he talking about that? Well, if you first join and you decide you don't want to wander off, you want to join a town, you are free to do that. You follow these... Um, Nice railings that were put up, and you follow it through, it'll bring you to this town, which is Nazar. Nazar has their own guards out front, which will kill, there we go, when it says Nazar town at the bottom, PvP, that means you're in their town, in their protection zone, and you cannot destroy anything. Um, there are two guards at the front, they will not attack you unless you are enemies of the town Nazar. Um, currently they only have two enemies. The guards will also attack mobs, so you can run to them if you are under attack. Potential citizens go to Sandstone Town Hall for info. So if you walk forward, you will end up finding the Sandstone Town Hall. I'm not going to guide you through this because you're able to go and explore it all yourself. But this is the town hall you go to. It will have all the information if you wish to join the town. As you can see, it is a rather, rather very large town. Um, you will get your own plot for your own protection to do whatever the heck you want here. Okay, I apologize. I had some slight technical difficulties, but they are fixed. I believe 
from where I left off, if this worked out correctly, was I simply showing you how amazing this place looked and, um, you know, how magnificent these structures are. The greatest part is anybody is free to join. There is literally no limit on who can join. Um, one cool feature which you will not be able to see. Let's see if I can go find it myself. Um, that's just a guard patrolling around. I purposely went on when there aren't a lot of people because I didn't want all the chatter and everything to be distracting. They have what is an underground rail system where you have this nice little cart that you give it a push and then you hop in. And I can tell you from experience that this thing is actually pretty freaking fun. And you can go from one end of town to the other end of town pretty quickly. I forgot how to get out. <laughs> you can get from one end of town to the other end of town pretty quickly. Faster and running and in my opinion saves your food and everything as well. Uh, before I do end this, I do want to note that this is not the only town in existence. This is just one of the most active and one of my favorite towns. If you come on and you create a town for yourself and it becomes huge and popular and is run very well and plays fair and such, I, I will be happy to grant you these guards, which is actually the only way you are able to get them is I have to grant them for you. Um... There is a structure right here, but apparently my chunks don't want to load. Oh, there we go. I promise there is a there is a structure here. I'm not making it up. There you go. There is a structure here as well. I know that far off in that direction, there is more as well. Um, here's the cave system if anybody needs reference. There is... Actually, you'll find something in every direction. This is the most you know clear, obvious one that's right in your face as soon as you join. Um, this does not mean you cannot create your own town. Many people have, and they have done so successfully. Um, be careful at the spawn, I should note. There are bandits that attack it occasionally. But other than that, that's really all there is to tell you. So, I really hope you join. Everyone is welcome. Uh, you are free to bring your friends and everything, and the IP and link and everything is down below. Be sure to use your townie, townie system to protect yourselves because if someone attacks your place and you don't have townie enabled, they can destroy it and most likely they will. So, good luck to you. I really hope to see you all here.